So when you're talking about unique small farms here in San Diego, this is the man you need to talk to. Mike, <laughs> tell me a little bit about your farm. Well, my farm uh, started four years ago and we decided we were gonna grow something that nobody grew in San Diego County, or for that matter, uh, Southern California. Yeah, anywhere in Southern California. That's right, anywhere, for the most part. And that was heirloom dried beans. And what are we standing in front of? What is this? Well, this is a machine that we actually had built in central Turkey. Okay. And this is called a seed threshing machine. Okay. It's used all over the Mediterranean. Uh, you'll see it in parts of uh, the Near East also, oh, okay. used by small farmers uh, to basically take the plant, beat it up, and throw out the seeds. Okay, these are the screens that are in this machine. The top has holes in it, and the holes are based on the size of the bean. But many of the beans, like we saw earlier, are split. And so this is called a scalping screen, and those split beans, small rocks, other things are gonna go through and be cleaned out. So now that we've talked about growing beans, we have to talk about tasting beans, which Absolutely. we're gonna do right now. Absolutely, and we're gonna be tasting these two beans. This is the Anazazi, and this is the Riozapi. Okay. These are both found you know, 800 to 1,000 years in pots, and then found being grown nearby. We're talking heirloom these beans. These are heirloom beans. <laughs> so what so are, they're all cooked up for you. And what, what flavors should I be tasting in well, here? Well, you should be able to taste the creaminess, a little bit of, there's a little chili in there. There's a little uh, uh, garlic. Oh yeah, very creamy. Okay, Mike, what do you have in there? I oh, have Mike. a Jerusalem <laughs> cricket. It's not a bean, okay. Otherwise was, known <laughs> as a potato bug. And this is a thing that oh. is the bane of our are growing. They oh, can actually huge. cut through the drip it's lines. coming towards me. And this is what the drip line looks oh, like. That was a snake at first. <laughs> no, it's not a snake. <laughs> oh. Or the, you know, they're looking for anything that would be a water source. Okay, you let's know, keep right, moving. Right there, right there. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to kill me. You're trying to kill me. Let's go talk about beans. Now, you're a great chef, but you also work with a lot of chefs, right? I do. I work with a whole bunch of restaurants, and oh. we'll be going shortly to a restaurant in San Diego oh, okay. called Cucina Urbana, oh. and we'll see how the temporary beans, these white beans that we saw earlier, uh -huh. and that we were going through, are actually used in the dishes. Okay, well, I'll save my appetite for that then. All right, enjoy. with small farmers like Mike is mm -hmm. getting it into consumers' brains, what exactly. you're growing. And one mm -hmm. way is to get it on menus of restaurants. And we're here at Cucina Urbana here in downtown San Diego. And Mike, mm -hmm. how did you get kind of connected with them? Well, I had some beans that were being sold in a store down here. Uh -huh. And one person bought them and said, these are really great. He knew the chef, introduced us. No way! And boom. Michael, how are you? All right, Mark, it's good to see, see you. How's everything? They were doing great. Awesome, we're awesome. Finishing up our harvest and uh, we're here to see how the beans are being cooked and oh, used. Oh, fantastic. Everything's really great. Okay, so this set is done. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to plate it on a warm plate. All right. Then to finalize the dish, salmon goes on top. This is, again, a lemon cello beurre blanc. Absolutely fantastic. Think about all the layers of flavors that are in there. That's exactly right. And then Mike here, I'd love to have you uh, dig in and give it a try. All right. It's so surprising. You would never think of, you know, most of us would never think of putting beans with fish. That'd be the last thing that would occur to somebody. 
and they just go so well. They set off. There are a whole variety of textures that are in here. Well, I think that's the sign of a successful story is we've got a half-eaten plate, great time with Mike, great time with Mark here, and I just want to thank you for having us out to the farm. Oh, it was a We learned day. a lot about beans today. Thank you for cooking for us. My we pleasure. will be back. My pleasure. And uh, let's eat.